Mantles is brought to you by EXO Auto Works. EXO Auto Works is Colorado Springs home of the $50 synthetic blend oil change. Call now, 719-375-3232 or visit exoautoworks.com to make your appointment. Madrid Maintenance. Madrid Maintenance offers excellent handyman service in the Colorado Springs area starting at just 45 an hour. You can reach them by phone at 719-963-2020 or online at facebook.com slash Madrid Maintenance. Enharmonic Studios. Enharmonic Studios is a hybrid digital analog facility designed to be quality and affordable to anyone who wants to make history. Call today, 719-963-2020 or go to facebook.com slash enharmonic studios. Dad, can I have some ice cream? No, buddy. It's almost time for bed. <laughs> Don't let this happen to you. I'm going to teach you how to get what you want from your parents. Let's do that again. Dad, I really missed you today. Can we share a bowl of ice cream and talk about our day? Sure, buddy. Yes! you got to figure out what's important to your parents. For Dad, it's quality time. And for Mom, it's something else. Mom, can I play my video game? Have you already played your video game today? Uh, let's do that again. Mama, can I do that for you so you can take a nap? That is so sweet of you. Yes, thank you, honey. Thank you, I love you. And when I'm done, I'll gladly play my video game. Just because it works for me, doesn't mean it's going to work for you. you got to figure it out yourself. Got it? Got it. Live from EXO Auto Works. Streaming all over the world. We're coming for you, globalist! It's your weekly dose of toxic masculinity. Toxic masculinity. With Eric Madrid. And Trevor Lane. It's Mad What's up, everybody? Hey, hey, hey. You gonna get me in the uh, <clears throat> work outfit of the uh, cold season? Right, not as windswept and dashing as I normally am for this podcast. <laughs> you get the real deal tonight, full of drywall dust and I don't know, siding chafe. Jesus, it was a long day. Yeah, yeah, I had to put in a door, an external door. Ah, yeah, a new one. Yep. Not every day you get to say I cut a hole in somebody's house. <laughs> that was fun. That would be that would be fun. Yeah, uh, I don't know. It's been uh, it's been a weird week, bud. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I heard uh, romances in the air at your house. Yeah. <laughs> Tootsie better, 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 roll went on. Better again. than my love life. Fucking. I'm not even sure date's quite the right word. Uh, chaperoned trip to the movies with a boy. Yeah, who chaperoned? Uh, his father. Oh, I bet he had the best time. Yeah. You guys should have gone, had beers. That'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> you could have a bro date. Oh, bro, I'm just going to say this. Do you remember a long time ago when my mom said, I hope you two have daughters? Vaguely. <laughs> now it's it's coming back harder. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I thought of that earlier. Yeah, you remember that because... Uh, that was the, well, the, mean, the weekend in the red truck? Yeah. yeah. We were trying to stick our wieners in anything that would let us. Pretty so. much. <laughs> I think the watermelons won. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's pumpkin season. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> pumpkin spice latte. Well, no, I, uh, I, I, uh, super fun. Uh, I, you're... I mean, you know, yeah, yeah, you got daughters. Yep. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> Pretty sure, uh, <laughs> sure, sure. My my brother Tristan's in the same boat. You know, yep. having the uh, kids the same age. Yep. Yeah, I think you guys are the same age. Uh, yeah. roughly. Maybe yeah, forty-four. Yeah, roughly. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, have kids the same age. That whole thing. Daughters. Yep. Daughters. daughters. Yeah. 
Daughters. That's all right. I think uh, women my age are just, you know, the best. <laughs> Absolutely the best. <laughs> yeah, we were we were having a lovely conversation in the parking lot earlier. <laughs> yeah. Can you taste the irony? About uh, taste the rainbow. About the the ladies that want to. Uh, Put fellas in the rotation. Yes, and, um, rotation. Which you know is fine when you're 20, but it's a a little uh, dated when you're like you said pushing 50. Pushing 50, and you're you know. Here's here's where I think it comes from though for ladies in that age group. Uh, most of them have already been married. Yeah, and and they got so they they get to that point where like, like I get to sell my wild oats again. It's like no, you already did that. No, you already did that. You got multiple kids. <laughs> <laughs> They've you, been you, sowed. You sowed, and now you're reaping. No. So go reap. <laughs> and, you know, it's like, well, I just I want all the comfort and re- and and stability and attention of being in a relationship, but I I want to be single. Uh huh. Cool. Well, go yeah. do that then. I want to have my cake and eat it too. <laughs> yeah, I'm not mad at you for wanting your cake and eat it too. It's just, uh, sure. you know, pick the hill. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I, I firmly expect some some sort of message in about a week of, yeah, I was wrong. Yeah, well, we've been through this before. Yep. You yep. were wrong before. I was dumb for saying, okay, well, things will be different. Yeah. I'm just going to say this. People don't change. What's uh? What's the definition of insanity? Insanity. I'm fucking <laughs> right there. All right, it'll be better this time. Fuck. <laughs> nope, it will not. And uh, if you see those patterns in the next person or the person after that, you're just like, nah, you just bounce, just just go, yep. run away. Um, I read a couple of funny things this week. Not funny, haha, but it was the uh, um, don't chase butterflies. If okay. You, if you I have your, that if, song, but no, no, that's waterfalls. <laughs> oh, there you go. Don't Sorry. go chase them waterfalls. That's you a good tune. You don't need to because they're always there in the same spot. It's not like they go yeah, anywhere. Yeah, yeah, but don't chase butterflies. <laughs> Grow your garden. You know. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because then they'll all you know they'll show up. You bring them to you. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, that's a that's a goodie. That's a that's a real goodie. Also, I watched uh, my favorite movie last night. Singles. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not okay. Predator. That All was right. my other favorite. Yeah. Movie. Yeah. He's like, you know what my dad said to me when he left? He said, have fun. Stay single. I was eight. <laughs> I should have listened to it. <laughs> my favorite part in that movie is when uh, he's retelling his visit to the doctor, and he's like, and then, you know what comes out? Spam. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's the dude from Malcolm in the Middle. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the oldest yeah. brother. Yeah. The mother and the father learn to come together. <laughs> the father, and so is his penis. You know what the penis is, don't you, Steve? Looks at his mom. He's like, yeah. Mm. The father, and so is his penis, into the woman. This is called intercourse. And then they cut to the fucking playground. Yep. What else? Called spam. Ugh. Yeah, that's the best. <laughs> that's the best. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've, yeah. I've, <clears throat> my greatest fear was always just landing in the friend zone, and then it's like, well, that's whatever. That's what always happens. Like you're really nice, and you're so awesome. We're gonna be my friend, yeah, like my brother. Cool. You want me to fucking slap you around more, or like, what do you want me to do? <clears throat> Treat you like shit? Like, is that what I gotta do? <laughs> well, and it, now you kind of have an in if they say the whole brother thing because the step brother steps. I was gonna say, yeah, apparently probably one of the most popular genres. You were saying like I do, I do not follow the. Uh, I don't get it. The I don't hub. get. I don't understand. I'm, I'm really the, glad. I mean, I, I don't go on there oh, that often. Oh, but so somebody told me there's a place called uh, Something Hamster. I'm e- like X Hamster. Oh, there it is. <laughs> what <laughs> I don't think. That? I don't think all it, I can picture is Richard Gear. I I don't think that's the deal. I don't know where they get the hamster thing, but it's basically just they're all you, uh, basically YouTube clones just put sure sure porn, you yeah. Know? I, I, uh, yeah. When I was um, in college, it was the Hun, and it was the yellow pages of porn. It was literally a yellow page that just had links to like photos. Well, yeah, you one or two dial videos. up didn't really do video very well. <laughs> no, <clears throat> even photos, it was like. Bzz, 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 bzz. <laughs> what was the first website you ever fucking visited? 
Um, it was it probably was the AOL homepage after my parents got. Oh AOL. yeah, yeah, I figured, yeah. I was in, uh, I I was at the college and we didn't we didn't have a computer. We were poor. Yeah. So I went to Vi dot com. That was my first website. Yeah. yeah. Which which correlates now some you know forty years later or thirty years later. Because I'm sitting at home, I set up the TV in my bedroom. You all know I've been remodeling the house, my life, obviously, apparently, whatever. And uh, I set up the TV in my room finally because I got mm -hmm. most a lot of the upstairs done, and I'm finally back to you know habitating in my house instead of being a guest in my own home, construction zone. And um, I got the TV set up, and you, you know what I'm watching like. It's just stoked on, interested in. It's like the the Nolly mix tutorials on YouTube, and you know the 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 Kemper uh, uh, tone show, which is like just two guys doing what we're doing, like yeah. running through Kemper patches. Yeah, yeah. so fucking lame. <laughs> that is my evening. That is my evening. I get home, like oh my god, got me some Arby's. I'm gonna fucking you know I drop my guys off. I grab some food and then I feed the kitties and mess with them and then get them all sorted and situated and then i'm and then like oh, the tone zone <laughs> time for the tone show <laughs> oh no but that's i think that's kind of cool that that because remember back when we were kids when there were three tv channels oh yeah dude, and dude. fox finally came out and you're like oh there's a fourth Fuck yeah dude fox viewing positions that um, was the thing. and <laughs> and um so you were like completely at the mercy of programming executives from New York, basically, or yep. LA. Uh, same thing with the music. I love. I that's the part I love about the internet is that it has shattered that the the barriers and the your uh, kid. This is what's cool. The gatekeepers yeah. to stuff. Um, because I watch those idiots all fucking. I watch. I mean, three. The, the downside is now anybody can. I make mean, an album, make a podcast, us. do a TV show. <laughs> <laughs> We're out here. <sighs> but also, anybody can do that, and you'll find yeah cool shit. Let's see, who's watching? We got four watchers over on the Rumbles. We do. Feel and, free to chat. Yeah, what are you guys watching at night? <laughs> like, you, We just learned that I'm a fucking rock star. And I'll, I'll plow through three uh, three episodes of that tone, the Tone Show on the Kemper uh, by the way, everybody, Kemper is a uh, it, not the insurance company. It's the mm -hmm. um, the guitar amp modeling profiling manufacturer. So they have a p couple pieces of gear that uh, clone. Yeah, the idea really is you, cool. buy, uh, you buy this. You buy thing. one box, and you have sixteen different amps. Absolutely, and I'm, uh, just the yeah. unlimited uh, resource. Because if you were to try to buy them. Mesa Boogie Dual Rectifier right now, it's, that'll run you 1600 bucks, And you want a Mesa and a Marshall and a... I was thinking about recently, um, for no reason in particular, and this is only curs cursorily related, um, <clears throat> Dave Mustaine, this is way back, uh, not way, way, way back for Megadeth, but um, a number of years back, he suddenly had a Line 6 endorsement and everybody was like what's going on with that because he's been a marshall guy forever yeah. and ever and ever he hooked up with line six because he was borrowing a marshall plexi that he really liked and the guy was like i want it back and he went to line six and he went model this yeah and then dumped them as soon as he had a model right <laughs> <laughs> sounds like dave <laughs> but sounds i was like just dave. like the balls on <laughs> to do that <laughs> and that was back when line six was the only option i'm sure now he would have gone to kemper yeah for sure um, but back then it was like hey here's the amp make make a thing that sounds just like it and i remember him doing a rig run through where he had the uh he was using the line six just for that amp yeah that's it it had a gazillion amps on it, and he's but, like, I no, don't need any it. of those. I just want this Plexi. <laughs> no, I, I feel like, the, you know, not to make this a guitar tone show, but the fact that the fact that I can have my, and I've, I've profiled, you know, somewhere around in the realm of 50 profiles of the uh, Triaxis, 
I have a low serial number Traxxas that I got new somewhere in 1995 or 96. So, I mean, if I really I'm hard up for money, I could sell that thing and buy a new car. But yeah, I can't take it on the road anymore. I can't take it to gigs anymore. It's falling apart. The front screen's falling off. The input yeah. jack's all loose. Like shit's going sideways on it because it's just you know it's old and broken like me. That's what happens. So. That's yeah, why. Uh, that's why you get these cool pieces. I know of gear. we're going even further down this rabbit hole. I'm sorry, but that's why. Um, back in the day, the one of the first endorsement deals was Judas Priest with Hamer because they got tired of breaking their Gibsons. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they had like three thousand dollar Gibsons that they take on the road, and they're like, "This is bullshit." Somebody yeah. needs to make us ones that. Look, that's why they had the fly, the cool. Hamer flying V's and, yeah, yeah. and looked more or less like their Gibsons. And, um, <clears throat> but play but okay. And then only if, cost 500 bucks each. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not ruining history by taking this out and snapping the headstock mm -hmm. off on accident or getting shipped and getting it fucked off because yeah. roadies are drunk. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, yeah. I've, all I'm right. pretty sure that's why those cats get those endorsement deals. It's like, look, I need to have the thing so I can do the thing and not, like, worry that I'm not going to be able to do the thing. Yeah, yeah. And then make a little scratch on the back end. Anyway, we have a hell of a show for you tonight. <laughs> We've been self-indulgent long we're leaving, enough. We're leaving guitar talk. <laughs> we're leaving guitar talk with Eric and Trevor and uh, heading back over to Man Tools. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna jump in with some news. We yes, we oh are. man, we've got some stupid shit for you. We have yes, yeah, um, yep. Be prepared. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> be prepared. <laughs> All right, as you'll see from the news, it pays to be prepared, as we told you. Uh, and one of the best ways to do that is to have some emergency food on hand. And the best place to get emergency food is from Valley Food Storage. You need to have this because you never know when the apocalypse will happen. That's it. Uh, or even just a... Crazy blackout, earthquake, fire, floods, <clears throat> uh, whatever the case may be. Anything where uh, suddenly going to the grocery store is not an option <laughs> and uh, you need to feed your family. Valley Food Storage has you covered with food that tastes great, uh, gives you 2,000 calories a day, um, which is plenty for your fat ass. I know what you're thinking. Uh, and <laughs> has a 25 year shelf life. So check that out at prepare.mantoolsmedia.com. Or if you're watching on video, you can use that uh, neat little QR code you see over in the corner next to Eric. Uh, but let's get into some news. We start with a uh, food related thing, actually, uh, out of California. And probably nationwide, because that seems to be what these chains do. McDonald's and Chipotle are hiking their prices because California has raised. Now, this I, the articles I keep seeing say f specifically for fast food, but I I I don't know. It, I yeah. know here in Colorado there is one minimum wage. There's not a fast food minimum wage. But, it's it's a misnomer. Um, anyways, the the point they're getting at is that fast food workers in California. Now we're making $20 a fucking hour. Yep. <laughs> we told you when they were talking about 15 that that's not going to be enough because the unintended consequences is that the price goes up for everything when you raise minimum wage. That's just how it works. So you end up fucking over the people that you are pur uh, purporting to help through these because you basically price them out of all the shit that they need. Um, <clears throat> and in the case of this, McDonald's, at least in, uh, in California, is looking at $18 Big Mac meals. We're almost there now. <laughs> 
No, it's thirteen something <clears throat> to get a Big Mac meal here in town. Uh, That's yeah. fucking crazy. That's wild. Um, I don't you know what's you know what's really crazy to me, because we rarely we don't eat fast food that often. Uh, maybe twice a month. Um, but the other day we were, you know, like, well, we don't have anything. It's it's our however often. Uh, let's just get something quick. And I haven't been to Chick Fil A in quite a while because to me it seems like it's expensive. Uh-huh. It wasn't that bad. It was surprisingly reasonable and way better than any of the other places when it comes to quality and service. <clears throat> so, yeah, it somehow somehow they seem to have cracked the code on keeping the prices reasonable with decent service and decent ingredients you know what i mean but sure uh stuff like this though is out of their hands i mean they raise the minimum wage that's not something you can keep doing well it's not only that's not it either it's just everything goes up yeah yeah your supplies go up um look at how much shit i don't know if made in california is quite the right word it is imported into california Uh uh-huh uh-huh. Yeah, it's kind of nutty. So, fucking hell, dude. Um, <clears throat> yeah, well, maybe this is a good thing, though, because uh, fast food is garbage and you shouldn't eat it. And, uh, and maybe they'll price themselves out of business and we'll be healthier. <laughs> Somehow I don't quite see it working out that that well, but um, this is awesome. Have you seen? Did you see this episode? Nope. No. Have you heard about it before nope. now? Okay. So South Park on the twenty seventh of October aired this amazing episode uh, into the Panderverse. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Where they lampoon the shit out of Disney. With their pandering. <laughs> and it turns out the South Park universe has a multiverse, which they openly admit is a gay storytelling <laughs> tool, <laughs> which obviously Disney is employed in a number of uh, franchises that they own. Um, and uh, so here's here's the, I guess, alternate universe pandering uh, <laughs> versions of the kids, which of course are all... F- now, uh, female or trans and, uh, and or of color, because <laughs> that's what Disney keeps doing. You know, Got Little it. Mermaid uh, is the big one that, that recently happened with the, now she's, oh, uh, Snow White, she's suddenly Mexican. Um, I guess they've gone back because they made their... I don't even know where this outcry comes from. I don't think there is any outcry, but they go, oh, dwarves is insensitive, so it's it became Snow Brown and the seven regular-sized dudes. <laughs> and because of backlash to that, they're now going back and digitally turning the seven regular-sized dudes into dwarves. So the release date has been pushed back even further. It's had a number of delays, but that's the latest is... So now there's promo photos that show Scrap, show her with actual dwarves. Scrap can that <coughs> shit, man. Because <laughs> they didn't shit. like motion capture those guys. They just filmed them, yeah. right? So now they're having to go and turn them into dwarves because everybody got mad. Right. Fun. Yeah. Um, but the, <laughs> this looks hilarious. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go watch that later. <laughs> just, I love... It. The thing with South Park that's great is they make fun of everybody. They don't give a shit. Yep. Um, that's what comedy's supposed to be. That's exactly what it's supposed game. to be. They make fun of when when conservative people have a dumb take on something, they lampoon that. When liberals have a dumb take on something, they lampoon that. When uh, the best was, you know, they lost one of their biggest cast members because they made fun of Scientology, and they were like, okay, bye. <laughs> Yeah. And then made an episode with just clips of his voice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember that. 
they're like, cool, you know we're going to make fun of you. Like hardcore. The next episode is going to be just shitting on Chef, right? Yep. You understand that? You get that, right? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Integrity. Integrity. So good. So good. Uh, I speaking of of South Park, we recently um um, <laughs> Marion was curious about it, and uh, <clears throat> the movie. It's weird what's available where because not everything is on Paramount Plus. I'm not sure what the deal is with that. Um, somehow I think some Comedy Central stuff is on other platforms, but the movie was on Paramount Plus, which we have. So we watched the movie with her, and uh-huh. she was like, you guys like this? <laughs> we're like, yeah, it was awesome. And then we got into a nostalgia bubble and um, and watched Basketball. Uh-huh. <laughs> when she hands in the bumper. <laughs> it's just yes. brilliant. Those guys are great. Uh, so, yeah, De- definitely check that out because it's just, I love it. Yeah. Um, and then let's see. And I'm not even sure if that's quite the news. Oh, yeah. So here's a clip. I forgot. I have Okay, a, we have a clip. We have a clip. Ah, oh, isn't that great? Yeah, that's, that's going to be amazing. <laughs> I love that. It's going to be amazing. Yeah. Mm. Uh, <laughs> and then <laughs> we have... Oh, um. Along the same lines, uh, did you know birds can be racist, or at least their names? Uh, no. Well, dozens of birds, including ones named... I love how they were this. Ones named after white supremacists. Oh, you mean normal white guys from back in the day? Got it. (laughs) So dozens of bird species... In the United States and Canada, will get imaginative, imaginative new names that reflect their traits and habitats rather than the names of people. The American Ornithological Society announced Wednesday. Also, um, what if I don't decide to call them by their new names? What if I still call it the? Uh, I don't know. I couldn't come up with anything. I'm sorry. I thought I was going to have something by the time yeah, I got right. to the punchline. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't think of any racist bird names. Sorry. The uh, the, society, the society plans to remove all human names from the common names for birds within its jurisdiction to create a more inclusive. And now, see if they didn't go with that justification, it would be fine to me. But yeah, birds shouldn't be named after people. Cool. But the to create a more inclusive environment for people of diverse backgrounds interested in bird watching. Like, unless it's the N-word or whatever, like, who cares? Yeah. Oh, it's named after a guy from the 1800s who was, like, the first person to see it on this continent or something? Well, I don't, I can't first, even think. I'm first trying. First white person to see it. I'm yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm trying. sure the natives had a name for it before you got there. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I'm super trying. I can't think of a, a Let me see. Uh, I wanted to see if they have, like, a list. What's in the name? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, fuck this. Even this headline for this section pisses me off. Addressing past wrongs in the scientific world. Like what? Unless it's something like the Tuskegee experiments, go fuck yourself. It doesn't need to be addressed. You know what I mean? Oh, so you named you named a, a thing after a guy that turn out to not be such a great dude. <laughs> Why would it be called the... Uh... And they cite, I guess, the American Fishery Society has changed the name of a fish that I guess used to be called a Jew fish, which, all right, that's a little... Uh, to a Goliath... Oh, there we go. We just pick a name out of the Jewish Bible. Yeah. <laughs> Goliath grouper. <laughs> Well, I mean, I guess technically Goliath is uh, what we would call now a Palestinian. Okay. <laughs> a Philistine, right? They're, Philistine. They're, uh, uh, just fuck off. Fuck off. Yep. Um, 
It's just annoying. Um, What's up, Keys? <clears throat> How's every little thing? Hey. Uh, you missed a hell of an intro. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally we end the news with um, something that we've all been really concerned about and waiting for. Finally, they have a suspect in the Tupac Shakur murder, and he has pled not guilty in court in Las Vegas. So, Dwayne Keith Davis, 60-year-old man, charged with the killing of Tupac Shakur, pleaded not guilty in Las Vegas court, known as Kefi D. Uh, this is his third scheduled arraignment on a charge of murder. Why would you need three? An arraignment is literally just saying guilty or not guilty. I'm always confused when stuff like that goes back and forth. It's like, what's... <laughs> Anyways, uh, Davis is accused of orchestrating the September 7th, 1996 shooting that killed Shakur, the 25-year-old trailblazer whose brief prolific career cemented his legacy as one of the most uh, influential hip-hop artists of all time. Yep. It's amazing what a gay drama kid can do. <laughs> when, uh, when he decides to turn gangsta. So, I don't listen to hip hop. I don't either. But all right, there have, you go. Have you have you seen any of those videos from when he was like seventeen at the Fame High School? And they're talking to him. Oh, he's he's gay as a three dollar bill. There's no doubt. And then have you seen Jada the, Pinkett Smith. Yeah, the uh, yeah the the image turnaround was uh, <laughs> clearly very orchestrated. Yeah, and I'm not saying he's not talented or anything. Those you know. If you're into that, he's obviously one of the greatest hip hop artists ever. Ever, um, like they said, a short and prolific career. Well, we're gonna keep that story short but, and move on to yeah. uh, cool stuff. Some cool stuff. Awesome. All right, cool stuff as always is brought to you by Top Extracts Kratom. If you don't know what Kratom is, uh, and you're curious about it, um, all I can say is it's a an amazing natural alternative to opiates uh, and some other substances. So the best thing to do is educate yourself by going to Top Extracts, uh, <clears throat> and then if you're interested uh, or still curious about how it works and what it does um buy some uh and you can get there by going to kratom.mantoolsmedia.com and uh you should get it through us because we're great because <laughs> it'd be cooler if you did <laughs> that's right um you ever run into a language barrier on the job site no say all right <laughs> well this is a very creative way to deal with it. Um, and uh, maybe you should start to okay. see, see how this bring works. in some toy trucks. <laughs> oh, no way. We're going we're gonna to have talk of trucks. Yeah. Safety So uh, the manager, I guess, or the uh, supervisor is trying to explain what he wants done. And apparently verbiage was, uh, <laughs> was not working. Um, so... Like, you do this with the dump truck. Uh, this guy does this with the shovel. <laughs> and that's how we're going to get done. <laughs> the universal language. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It hurt my brain. <laughs> oh, no, you have to drive it over like this. Like, no, hey, this. Mr. Jones, how way. much did you pay for the new guy? Uh, 20 bucks no too much too much well um yeah i don't know um i think this thing uh could probably understand that um i don't know if you know how smart octopi 
are. I, I've heard. Um, yeah, I've never, you know, called one at home, but I haven't either. But no, uh, let's see what uh, how smart. Uh, well, I, this no, doesn't, Hablo this doesn't, uh, Thank you, Keith. <laughs> this doesn't demonstrate their intelligence, but it's just no, Hablo Fuctardo. Um, I believe this guy lives like super deep, and uh, anyways, the way he In gets the around deepest, deep of the deep, deep <laughs> the, way, the way the way he gets around on the bottom is uh, just. He's just kind of like, I'm late for a party. <laughs> the fuck are we watching? Gumby's sister, cool stuff. weird sister? Yeah. Okay. I, I want to see it again. They make weird sounds at the bottom of the ocean. They do, yes. Yeah, they yeah. do. All right. Uh, <laughs> swear to God. And then we, uh, if, if John Wayne was still alive and making movies, he should cast this kid. Uh, not her, her brother. But you'll about you're about to see why. <clears throat> so she's holding a target. He's oh. got a couple of guns. Yep. Takes a shot. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> killer in, the kid's got killer instinct. <laughs> not between the eyes. He got one no, on each. One on each. Total safety uh. glasses. That's awesome. <laughs> and then uh and then finally we end with uh the guy that wins Halloween. Oh yeah. Uh What do you think you're the coolest guy in the parking lot? And then this How do you even up. do that? What do you think you're the coolest guy in the parking lot? And then Yeah, I don't care about the audio, but how <laughs> <laughs> Like it's obviously on wheels, but I how how are they not Mirrors. You think so? Yeah. That's so cool. Isn't that great? He's yeah, he's <laughs> got his own speeder bike. That is so cool. <clears throat> that is so cool. Well, I always wanted a speeder bike. I thought that would have been legit. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, with that, we're going to pay some bills, and we're going to come back uh, with uh, what's pissing us off. We haven't done that in quite a while. I, I was Originally, this was going to be Tools of the Week, and I'm like, no. Nope. Tools doesn't even cover this. <laughs> That's making me mad. We're going to do pissing us off. So uh, with that, we'll be back in two and two. And um, I guess get ready to be angry. <laughs> be be, be anger, anger probed. Well, on my way over here, my brakes made an awful noise. And the last time I got them done, it was so expensive. You should go to EXO Auto Works. They did a great job on mine and it was way cheaper than anywhere else I've been. That sounds great. I need to get their number from you. At EXO Auto Works, we offer the best price on brake service in town. We include brand new brake pads, rotors, and hardware, which saves you money and gets you on the road faster. See our website for a full list of our services. Call EXO Auto Works today. Gentle, Donald. Slowly. Okay. That's good. How much you want for your pot? 500. 600. Introducing Cozone.com, the place to find computer help and buy what's right for you. Hey. Hey, yourself. Spence. We need to find the next great scent for Liv Bearded. Take this and let it be your guide. All right, let's go. No, it's cold. I mean, no, this journey's for you. Percent off with the code Man Tools.
Fuck off, you son of a bitch. All right, so before we all get our panties in a collective bunch, <clears throat> uh, that wouldn't happen if we were all wearing Moongata underwear. It's true. And that's because of uh, their incredible four-size pouch design. So what I mean by that is uh, obviously you have a pouch if you're a guy. And um, they come in different sizes. So why shouldn't the underwear have different sizes? That's right. So these, you fit to yourself. You know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> and then uh, if you're a man about town like Eric, uh, the, <laughs> the patent pending condom holder sure comes in handy because uh, you don't want a bunch of little Eric's running around, right? Nobody wants that. Or, uh, or catching anything. As we pointed out the last time we talked about condoms, that's not the that's not the only reason to wear a condom. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, check those out at uh, moongatalifestyle.com, which is spelled M-A-N-G-A-T-A, -A -A. Uh, <clears throat> and use the code Mantools for twenty percent off your order. They are definitely the last pair of underwear. Well, the last pairs. I would hope that you have more than one. But uh, the last pairs of underwear you will need to buy because they are amazing. Um, all right. <sighs> now let's get our metaphysical panties. Let's in get them bunch. panties in a bunch. That's funny. Um, we start with uh, the people that ruin everything. You know the types. They're entitled, uh, have zero regard for anybody else. Um White women? Oftentimes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if the white was necessary. <laughs> yeah, for sure it is. <laughs> In this case, yes. So uh, this is something you might expect some kids to do, but I wouldn't expect um, kids under the supervision of a parent to that be encouraged to do this. So, you know, some people, um, I get it. You don't feel like answering the door every five seconds. So you just put a bowl out on your porch sure and it's kind of implied and understood by everybody that you know you take a handful grab and go yeah 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 well not if this bitch lives in your neighborhood and she's coaching her kids <laughs> wow good job mom yeah <laughs> Also, I'm going to say, I'm going to go ahead and be the racist elephant in the room. Um, we apparently imported this because <laughs> they're not speaking English. Yeah, <laughs> like a fine Dos Equis beer. <clears throat> <clears throat> Fuck people. Yeah, just drained it. Um, oh, this video doesn't show it. So I... I'm not sure how, but somehow, like, one of the neighbors found out and came over and filled it up with some more. But fuck you. Yeah. People who ruin it for everything, fuck you. Or ruin it for everyone. Yep. <sighs> Fucking entitled cunts. <clears throat> All right. Now, we're, ju we're Back just... Back to the hill. We're just starting to... <laughs> To uh, to uh, uh, get the blood pressure up. Um, so now we go to uh, this, which of course uh, we're getting into some trans. Excuse me, it's man. So this person, uh, from what I understand, I didn't go look because I don't like I don't look at TikTok. Uh, we post there, but that's about it. I don't really interact there. So if you've messaged us or anything on TikTok, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I post the clips and then I get the fuck out because I really don't have any interest in hanging out. Um, but this person's whole thing is, okay, I'm going out to lunch. Let me, uh, let me set cause my I camera know, up. Because I know this is going to happen because yeah. I look like a linebacker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to set my camera up. And just 
wait, wait to be misgendered because I'm obviously a woman and they insist on calling me sir or mister and that's a problem. So here we go. Like, uh, he's having a uh, nice piece she, 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 her. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, it's okay. She, she, it's, her. It's okay. She, her. I'm not a him, yeah. despite my booming deep voice. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. But it was not all good. And this is the part that pisses me off. You want to do that and be that? Great. The problem I have is when you start requiring other people to comply with your little delusions. I use she, her pronouns. I'm not sir. Yeah. Like it, it, it's like a knife in the heart. I also, also, that's not the way a woman would ever describe. No, no. that's a very dude. That's a, a dude kick with... to the gut, a knife to the heart. Knife to the heart. That's very... Specifically ask ahead of time not to be called sir. Yeah. I'm just going to go. Yeah, the sweet water starts at... Also, those are man-sized portions every time that they show. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm assuming he's got to be like six feet tall because if you eat like that, you're going to weigh like 250. And unless you're over six feet, you're not going to carry it like this guy's carrying it. So, oh, you know, yet another... Like, just have um, awareness of... of you know what I mean? A uh -huh. self awareness. Like you, you have to. You can't be so delusional that you're like, I look like a pretty little lady. You know what I mean? I do. And then get upset when people see th through that. <laughs> okay. Not. I mean, not, I, I, I'm so sorry. Not, I apologize. It is always like a knife. It always hurts every single time. I was wondering if there's a manager I could talk to about something that happened. Yeah, I I was called sir. Okay. It just really sucks every time it happens. I don't need to be called ma'am. I just need to not oh. be called sir. Well, how fucking accommodating. How accommodating. <laughs> you just set people up for failure. It's, it's, the, the only reason for this is to cause trouble. Uh -huh. Like, it's, it's, uh, it's the narciss most narcissistic. And look, I, I think they're, um, there legitimately are trans people out there, but I'm not so sure when I see people like this, that that's what's going on. I think this is more, uh, I'm an attention seeker, narcissist type. I need to be the center of attention. Here is a method that I have found to make me the center of, the, of attention. Yep. Uh, and you know what? If I owned a restaurant and this person came in and acted like that, I would be like, you know what? Cool. Uh, your meal's on us, sir. <laughs> Have a nice day. Please don't ever come back. <clears throat> uh, I don't know what to tell you. You look like a linebacker in lipstick. You're causing trouble for the sake of causing trouble. So uh, we're about 46, 46 seconds into the two-minute video. Two and minute. I, can't, I honestly can't really stomach anymore. <laughs> Right there so with you. We'll just leave just it there. Baiting people. That's enough. <sighs> like fuck off. Um, and then finally, uh, well, no, no, I'm sorry, not finally. We got two more. Um, you know what? I'm gonna skip. I'm gonna skip the one. the The one is um the police in the UK. We already know that the UK is a disaster as far as uh how they've just completely turn away from the idea of free speech. This is another one where some UK police are arresting somebody for a fucking social media post. This time, a post where they said um, something negative about Hamas, the terrorist organization in Palestine. And I don't care what side of that shit you're on, but to have people arrested because they say the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah, that's the wrong side of the shit right there. That's the wrong side. So we go to um, the state of high school debates. Oh, fantastic. Mm. Yeah. A while back, I don't know if you were here for that one. We, a while back we covered um, <clears throat> a pair that was at, uh, I forget what level. I don't think it was nationals, which is what this one is. Um, but they were... <clears throat> they were hot shit in the debate world and their whole thing was just to 
Well, first off, they said the N-word like it was going out of style. Like, oh, they were black girls, one. you know, the soft, with the soft A, nigga, not the other one. Um, and they would just, like, take deep breaths and keep, I don't know. They, they didn't make a cogent point about anything. So, <laughs> but they were the champs. <clears throat> so Ugh. this one, we're, what we're about to watch, I'm going to set it up for you. Uh, I'm just going to tell you, the, the topic uh, has something to do with the International Monetary Fund. So let's get into how the teams here um, present their arguments about uh, either pro or against the International Monetary Fund. So I guess you can play media and debates now. Oh. Carried away. Do you think you really accomplished a great deal? Yes, I think we do. What else can we do? I've done everything. I've called everybody. I've had appointments with everybody. I've All right. So, just in case you're wondering, what is this? What is this thing that they're playing? Well, it has to do with a, a protest in the '80s about AIDS on the part of the gay community. So, I mean, totally related to the International Monetary Fund. Completely. So we'll keep going. <laughs> I don't know that man's name, but I know a little of the hopelessness and the horrible sinking fear in his voice. Here's how I prep for the TOC. I woke up a week before and learned that 28 instead of 27 states wanted to kill me. What? What? Okay, we'll keep going. The clip going. I played is from the 1987 ACTA protest in New York City. It was not the first and certainly not the last demonstration of its kind. It joins a tradition... So... It must be a protest against the International Monetary Fund, right? Right. That's what we're talking about. So that's what we're talking about. protest against institutions and to re reform communities that are violent and exclusive. We are here to join this tradition in our own small way. So, welcome to the protest. We are tired of how debate treats trans people. More than that, we are. Oh. So, you're not addressing the topic at all. Got it. Not even a little bit. We're doing some more. Uh, Man. So, I don't know the people, if the people in the top left, I can't tell if they're trans. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell sometimes with kids that age. Anyways, but... <clears throat> okay. So, you've decided on your own topic and gone away from the topic at hand. Also, this is wild. If I'm not mistaken, they're doing this... Well, there's, there's kind of two reasons they're doing it via Zoom. One is they've discovered that that's way cheaper than uh, on the part of the schools and stuff than flying teams to a location to compete. Sure. Cool. But the other one is COVID. <laughs> We're still doing that. I had to wear a mask the last three days at a client's Ugh. house. I'm like, you are. Fuck that. I wouldn't have taken the job. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I, I, there, there was an asshole tax. I'm, I'm sure <laughs> it was an asshole tax. So, all right, let's keep uh, let's keep we'll go a little further here. Tired of the way that their treatment is normalized. How it is treated as a necessary byproduct of having de good discourse when a nationally ranked team. How about write some of your own. Make trans people uncomfortable in front of an eleven-person panel and not be called out for it. Something needs to change. When a trans kid can go three years in debate believing being misgendered was simply something he needed to take in order to win ballots. Something needs to change. When almost every trans person quits debate or considers quitting several times a month, several times a week, several times a day. So, so first off, do you have any data on that? That trans kids are going i'm quitting debate because of these things <laughs> or did you just come up with that out of your ass i don't know man just... anyways so i'm not going to bore you with the rest of it what you end up getting to is instead of what should happen and i'll tell you what should happen um like three seconds into that one of these judges uh, i believe the person on the bottom left and on the top right oh and i guess the bottom right are all judges. So the, <clears throat> I guess these two ladies, it's, it's, I guess a two against two. So these two ladies happen to be, they're, they're from this, they're going from the same location. And then these two guys in the center or whatever they are at this point, I don't know, um, are the opposing team. So instead of what should have happened where one of these judges goes, 
Stay on topic. Um, excuse me. What does this have to do with the IMF? Oh, you're not you're not addressing the topic. Okay, cool. So, team, uh, whatever that is, Dalton, uh, you guys have forfeited, and congratulations to uh-huh. uh, University MN, whatever that is. It's high school, so I'm not sure. It, maybe they live somewhere with the name university in it. Sure. Um, <clears throat> cool. You guys are the champs. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, you forfeited. You're not staying on topic. But instead, they let them go through their time. You know, like most debate things, there's a time limit. They let them do their, you know, Spiel. trans are the most important people, and God forbid if any of them ever feel uncomfortable about anything. And um, <clears throat> they get to the end of that, and then the other team goes, you know what? You're white. You're right. Sorry. Four <laughs> games slip. You're white. <laughs> You're right. All of that is horrible, and uh, we certainly can't argue against it, so we forfeit to you because you're a special trans snowflake. Nice. And then the judges go, we all concur. Congratulations on winning the national fucking debate championship by not talking about your topic at all. Perfect. (laughs) You win. And here's what pisses me off. Like, all of that's annoying, but here's what pisses me off. Because this is what, what... the, the outcome of that type of thing is that is teaching these kids <clears throat> that um, their identity is the most important thing. And by identity is not even quite the right, right word. The, their, Your perceived importance on this microcosm is more important yeah, than, is, is, than factual truth. It has to do with truth. ethnicity and sexuality and all that stuff. Um, and that as long as you check those boxes, you're a fucking champ. It doesn't matter that you totally like, imagine a soccer game where a team just came out and went, we're all gay. So we win. (laughs) Yeah. That's it. That's what's happening. (laughs) And the referees went, well, fucking red cards to this whole side. (laughs) They're all straight. (laughs) You're right. You're right. (laughs) What the fuck, dude? I mean, this is way worse than even the particip- the dreaded participation trophies of years past. This is the impact of this is just what happens when these people get jobs? <laughs> like, I mean, it's going to be um, you know, you didn't do this task on time. Well, I'm trans and it's just because I'm trans that that's a problem that I even had to do a job. Yep. It's like, no. This yeah, is, we a, make widgets at this place, and you didn't make enough widgets. So, no, that's how it's going to be. <laughs> Russia wins. <laughs> Even when oh presented fuck. with absolute fact, Ugh. they refuse to believe. Wow, so this is the national debate team. Great. Yeah. Yeah. The national debate uh, championships. Well, guess. all of you 20 something judges are a bunch of fucking pussies, and. You are just as much a part of the problem. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how, as a judge, you don't immediately go, "Whoa, whoa, 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 whoa. stay what on is, topic." Because I, because if you've seen debates, what they'll do is they'll they'll say what the thing is. They'll be like, "All right, so our next topic is the International Monetary Fund, and uh, Team One, you have been assigned because you don't get to no. just decide what your position is. You have been assigned." to be uh be pro the international monetary fund and team two you will be against the national monetary fund so we'll start with team one and as soon as they went i mean i guess they could play that clip but i'd kind of be like i would almost want to interject and go is this like a protest against the international monetary like why is this a thing that you're playing for your also i think that's kind of cheating to play media in a debate but if that's within the rules cool <clears throat> but how do you not go? You're not. That's not the thing we're doing. <laughs> I find you, it funny. Because... You brought a baseball bat to us to a soccer game. I guess to use a similar yeah. analogy again. I know. Um, where you're? What? It, what? <laughs> Wait. What? <laughs> uh, and then to reward, to even go even worse. Like so, they didn't just not lose the other team. And here's here's the deal with the other team. When he starts talking, maybe I'll bring 
it a little further along. So you can see some of that. Um, oh, they changed places in the thing. There we go. So this dude starts talking, and it's at least clear to me that it's a, well, I'm not getting canceled by being transphobic. <laughs> right? The guy's so, going to be a politician. We're just going to go ahead and kiss their ass. And by debating it, I don't think we want to undermine the message that they're trying to get across. Or Their job is not to get that message, get their message across, though. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that is not the task at hand. The task is to make an argument for a position. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, anyways. <sighs> yeah. This just, this just... The idea, it's it's totally becoming if you fit into the right group, the right identity group, then you're golden. And if you don't, go fuck yourself. Uh huh. I don't know, man. I just I and can't when it wait. comes to a workplace, those of us that that don't fit into the identity group are just gonna have to make up the slack. You know what I mean? Pretty much. <clears throat> Pretty much. I can't wait to till he's like a, a police officer and he comes up to me at some point. He's like, "Well, I just feel like you're." you know, undermining my, my personal space by driving a little too fast in the zone. I'm like, you know what? I totally concede, and I forfeit to your... No, I won't yeah. do it. I'm just going to punch these little fucks in the face. And I'm going to jail. Yeah. yeah. Well, oh, I'm going let's, to jail. Uh, let's get some quick sports. Um, to be honest, we only have one. Uh, I was going to cover Bobby Knight's passing but i don't really care about it that much this though i definitely wanted to get into so i'm not even going to play the stinger we're just going to do it sports 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 sports, sports sports ball <laughs> go <laughs> thing this is crazy now i will warn you you are about to see someone literally die nice So I don't know if you saw what oh, happened there. Fuck yeah, they're, gonna, dude. they're gonna play it back again in slow motion. Got the fucking skate to the skate throat. To the throat <sighs> in a hockey game in the UK. And you know, some people are like, oh, accident, accident. Dude, that dude that dude launched kicks him in the I don't know what he was going for with the kick, but kicking anybody with skates on is a fucking problem. Oops. That's not it. Rewind it, but. It's not like he was reaching for the puck. Not exactly. Skadoosh, no, it's a sidekick. He fucking kicked him. <laughs> He fucking kicked him. That guy goes to jail for murder. He should. Um, so far, they keep calling it an accident. And the talk is uh, they should have these, I guess, in a lot of youth leagues, they're required, the, these Kevlar neck guards. But that's when kids don't have control of their feet and sticks yeah, and stuff. Yeah, your, your, your skates don't These come guys off. are pros. Your skates don't come off the ass like that. He fucking kicked him. <clears throat> that was... That was clearly on purpose to me. Um, That's insane. And again, like, I don't know if you can tell, but the guy doing the kicking happens to be black. And so, I, again, I'll be the racist um, in hockey. 1% of the population has now committed 100% of the murders. <laughs> It's even worse than the old 13% committing 52%. <laughs> wow. I, 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 sorry, I, may, I mean, the joke just... Go sports ball. You know. Uh, <clears throat> uh, as far as I know, that's the first murder in hockey. Yeah. Gee whiz. I don't even know of... I, I didn't really look into it, but I don't even know of... of people dying that directly i mean i suppose heart attacks and stuff but not like, like that and oh. they don't show it in this video but i saw another video that's gone now um 
where they bring him, where they're getting him off the ice, and his jersey is just blood, blood all over the ice. Yeah, um, it was like holy shit. Yeah, he. I mean, he clearly got caught in. I'm assuming like the jugular, and it was just game over. Nothing they could do. I don't know that they could. You know, even if they had a doctor on scene to start doing, right. stitching that up or whatever, I don't think they could save him. Jeez. <clears throat> so. <laughs> Spinning on. Uh, with that, we shall uh, get into the week in history. All right. Uh, <clears throat> oh. I can tell it's time for history. Oh, yeah. Thanks to my amazing Smith & Bradley watch. And you should get a Smith & Bradley watch because they are affordable. They are quality. They have a lifetime guarantee. Uh, and they look great. Uh, and they have plenty of options. I have this awesome field watch. Um but you can get uh, fancy-looking watches. You can get diving watches. You can even get digital watches. So check them out at smithandbradley.mantoolsmedia.com. Or, again, use that awesome little QR code over there next to Eric. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. This week in his story. Uh <clears throat> We start with November 2nd, 2000. The first resident crew arrives at the International Space Station. Uh, two Russian fellows and an American. Uh, November 3rd, 1964. For the first time, residents of Washington, D.C. are allowed to vote in the presidential election. Which, uh, yeah, they've... DC has had that that uh, no taxation without representation stuff, uh, you know the license plates and the whatever. Um, I have a, I think a unusual point of view about that. I don't think anyone should live there. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's supposed to be the seat of the of the it's federal government. It's supposed to be, yeah. I don't think I don't think it should be a town with people living there. Like people should come in to work. And then go home to either Virginia or Maryland. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, just leave. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but here we are. <laughs> here we are. Uh, let's see. November 4th, 1922. The uh, entrance to King Tut's tomb is discovered. And, of course, starts the curse that was most likely uh, either a bacterial or viral infection that they... Obviously, no one was immune to anymore. You can kind of see in that image um, the way it's sealed up. They use that here in the U.S. or Southwest, we would call it adobe, but it's that like mud and grass uh, material where they they like they literally sealed it up when they Make put them in there. Make bricks without clay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, straw. Make bricks without straw. Um, <clears throat> so. It's hard telling what was in there that <laughs> these guys exposed themselves to as soon as they broke that open. Yeah. Um, but uh, I'd say I'd say that's the likely culprit when it comes to the curse because a, a number of them did die uh, rather badly. <laughs> yeah. That's. Funny. Um, let's see. November. Also, Rain. have you seen those pictures of like? where they reconstruct what he would have looked like based on his skeleton and stuff. He was a busted up looking little fucker. <laughs> Dude, incest, not even once. Not uh, ever. <laughs> I'll just leave that banjo lesson alone. Um, let's see, November 5th. Oh, here we go. I need to... Uh, I think it'll be obvious what we're going to talk about as soon as I play this, but this is. Uh, I had to include this somehow, so... How much do I owe you for rent again? Uh, $800. I just don't have a lot of money at the moment. 
Is there something else that I could give you <laughs> instead? Tremor. No, I'd probably just like the money. <laughs> yep. I interest you in one tip. I'd really just appreciate the rent money. There's yep. so much surface area, you know, so many options. I don't really want that. And I'm into everything. <laughs> Holding hands, tongue in mouth, showering with my clothes off, watching each other go number two. Ew, <laughs> you know what? what? Let's just forget about it, okay? <laughs> really? Yeah, well, I mean, it's just Monopoly money. Okay. <sighs> That's why you don't invite girls over. So, uh, Gross. uh, let's see, November, <laughs> that, Gross. Was a, that was alluding to November 5th, 1935, Parker Brothers introduces the game Monopoly. <laughs> and the internet ruined it for you just now. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm guessing from the start, ladies were like, so, is there another way I can win this? Of course, in the 30s, they may have been like, you can't play this game. Yeah, right. <clears throat> you can't own property. What a fantasy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh let's see november 6 1945 uh the first landing of a jet on a carrier takes place and i know you're confused by looking at that image you see a prop well that's because they weren't sure that the jet engines would keep that thing in the air so they had a backup plan <laughs> and i'll show you uh because i had to look it up so this is what was going on yes they had a prop at the front but then there were intakes on the wings for the jet engine. And then the turbine was kind of in the middle um, and coming out of the ass. And there's some other images where you can see the back has like fire coming out. <clears throat> so yes, that is a jet despite <laughs> the image. So uh, yeah, they landed the first uh, jet carrier, jet landing on a carrier uh, on the USS Wake Island with the worst name, model of plane the fr1 fireball because that's how it went down there's no it was you, fine you know what i mean you you I, that's <laughs> like naming it the explosion like right <laughs> uh no um all right november 7th 1994 the world's first internet radio broadcasts originates from wxyc the student radio station at the university of north carolina at chapel hill so uh we would not be here doing what we yeah, do it all went downhill from there done. sorry guys <laughs> what they did uh, and then finally november 8th 1864 abraham lincoln the worst president ever question mark go to our locals to find out uh is re-elected in the first wartime election of the united states and one of the things we point out is that uh lincoln Never acknowledged, uh, in fact, he would very on purpose say the so-called Confederate states um, because he would not acknowledge that they had separated from the United States. But again, back to having your cake and eating it too. He also didn't invite them to participate in the yeah, presidential the election. Fuck, dude? <laughs> You're so damn cocksure. So if they're still part of the United States. That, yeah. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Fuck! People are just no. We're gonna do it my way. Like, um, so anyways, he obviously handily won uh, the states that were counted. <laughs> um, I'm, you know, and I'm not sure if the states down south would have cast ballots in this election, but uh, I'm quite sure that they were not even given the opportunity to. Yeah, I would imagine. Which defies... just like apparently in Colorado, we're. <clears throat> There's a uh, particular Republican that's not allowed to be on the bill. I have heard that there's a court case about that, but I haven't heard that they actually decided. It. No, they're trying to. The fact that they're even trying to is yeah. fucking outrageous. Well, it's, well, first off, it's not necessary because Colorado last year, two years ago, passed that thing where our electoral votes automatically go with the result of our popular votes. So... so if you're not in the popular side, the why Doesn't bother matter. voting? Yeah, yeah. Like I, but you, you, <clears throat> I mean, yeah. you can write in fucking Hitler if you want. <laughs> I write in Trevor outside. Lane for president every year for I the last ten it. years. I yeah. appreciate it. 
Uh, <laughs> anyways, that brings us to the end of the week in his story. And unfortunately, that is the end of our show. Yeah, it was a good show, Trevor. You did good again. I really like the way you click the buttons and you do the things. Thank you, you make it happen. Thank you. Really do. Appreciate you very much. Our uh, Veterans Day roundtable stream and fundraiser for 22 Till None will be hitting next week, November 10th, featuring a myriad of awesome people, including Kevin Sully Sullivan of uh, the 21 Gun Podcast, Wade Whitrock of Moongata Underwear, which I'm proudly wearing a pair right now, Kelly Pippen, who also I've worn at some point, I'm sure. Right. worn out poor guy is fucking annoyed with me uh and trevor Sargent from his time in kosovo dustin hoggard fundraiser and uh kind of last minute we're working on it i got a hard maybe from a marine oh so um if that's the case we'll be able to find out finally what the best flavor of crayon is <laughs> <laughs> I will not help you when he breaks you into tiny little pieces. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to even help. <laughs> the answer is purple. Um, <laughs> our fundraiser is going on now. Uh, it $2 gets you access to the stream and uh, $22 enters you into the raffle. Prizes include Mugata underwear, top extracts from Kratom, 22 Sierra coffee, Purple Works nutrition, etc., etc., etc. Make bricks without straw. Our 22. I, I don't think we have to worry about that part. We're not going to worry about. I don't know, man. You never know. Unless, unless we get about two grand in the next week. Yep, yeah, that uh, means we'll Trevor's going to get a tattoo on the air. So we are going to push this super hard. I hope everybody likes, shares, and. Uh, gets everyone else to jump on this and help out um if you guys are not you should get over to our locals uh our local members how to be a cunning linguist is out now get it at our members only content for just three dollars a month at mantoolsminions.locals.com also get one month free with code support free speech that's going on right now at mantoolsminions.locals.com Merch is at merch.mantoolsmedia. Get free shipping if you're on our Facebook group and 20% off if you're a Locals member. That's right. Thank you to all of our sponsors. Please find them at sponsors.mantoolsmedia. They are affiliates, so please order through us um, at, man, at sponsors.mantoolsmedia. That helps keep everything going and keeps uh, Trevor's regiment of hookers and blow on steady standby thank you for watching and or listening wherever you intake your podcast so we are on the web at mantoolsmedia.com our social is links.co slash mantoolsmedia i'm eric that's trevor we've had a hell of a good time with you we can't wait to see you next week for the very special podcast please join us then same man time same man channel Good night, everybody.